Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European indices on Wednesday, the 20th of July 2016. Please do visit Trade Signal, Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly what's going on here in terms of uh, markets, uh, in terms of direction. Let's try and decipher and uh, certainly work out. Okay, in terms of uh, the Asian markets overnight, we certainly had a um, negative performance with the uh, uh, Japanese markets down and the uh, Shanghai down overnight, therefore indicating risk aversion. We had uh, Microsoft earnings certainly beating uh, overnight, so again, certainly uh, indicating a positive sign. Okay, in terms of the actual market today, we've had stronger earnings this morning um, from uh, European indices. Uh, it, now, Volkswagen profit H1 was higher than analyst forecasts, etc. So that's certainly helping the German DAX this morning. BT certainly negative in terms of the internet outage. We've had uh, economic data from the UK certainly coming in slightly stronger in terms of employment, therefore negating any future uh, additional QE. So again, that's net net negative for the FTSE 100. Eurozone current account coming in slightly weaker than expected. Okay. In terms of earnings, so we've had a uh, Moody's. We actually had a negative outlook on the UK banking system. German inflation coming in stronger than expected as well. So therefore indicating negative. SAP, the earnings per share coming in slightly weaker, but the revenue coming in slightly stronger. Okay. And the profit margin slightly on the, on the, on the positive side as well. So Certainly some um, mixed set of data in terms of earnings, but uh, the economic data itself uh, mainly has been due to the FTSE 100, okay, and that certainly has been the one that's dictating the uh, the direction this morning. Although higher, stronger inflation data from Germany, Germany certainly negates the additional QE or argument for additional QE, so again, certainly take that into consideration as well. Okay, so let's see exactly where the markets are from a technical perspective. Now, my bias certainly remains bearish. I have been stopped out on my S&P 500 shorts at 2172. Impressive move on the uh, S&P from 2060 to 2072 overnight. Certainly very, very impressive. Now, let's try and work out exactly where the markets are positioned from a technical perspective going into the remainder of the uh, trading session, especially given the fact that the Nikkei and the, um, the Shanghai certainly were negative overnight. Uh, certainly isn't having an impact thus far. So the German DAX, as you can see here on my chart, certainly has negated my all my resistance levels, actually exceeded gap fill as well, which is very impressive. Okay, very, very impressive. Going back up now and testing that uh, previous high, you can see here, uh, the pivot high we have is 10,160, currently in that Fib 75% resistance. Okay, so negating that argument, negating the H&S formation as well on the German DAX, which I uh, potentially call out for yesterday again, Impressive, okay, certainly very, very impressive. So the uh, unfilled gap below certainly is out of the equation. Now we've closed the gap and we're back into horizontal resistance on the German DAX, okay? The 10 minute chart of the German DAX at the moment, certainly we're in no man's land now. I mean, certainly you have uh, negated the gap fill, taken that out, taken out the previous pivot high as well, which very, very impressive, okay? And again, you have the unfilled gap left below, so watch out for that potential gap fill below, okay? So all eyes on gap fill below. Okay, in terms of the um, French car, CAC, let's bring up the CAC for you. A CAC again, negating the bearish argument. Okay, back into that uh, zone. Okay, back into that 75% zone daily chart. 60 minute chart, again, negating the bearish lower lows, lower highs. Impressive. Certainly starts to uh, attempts to move its way back up again. Very, very impressive. Negating the bias as well. As you can see here, lower lows, lower highs. Totally ignored it altogether. Took to ignored gap fill. And has actually moved, moved even higher. So you just have to respect moves like this, folks. Okay. Uh, again, we had lower lows, lower highs, and all of a sudden the market breaks out that uh, uh, that bias and starts to move higher. FTSE 100 as well. We haven't taken out that pivot high at uh, 6742 yet. Okay. I remain short the FTSE. My bias remains short on the back of stronger employment data, negating any chance of additional QE. We're back into double top resistance, therefore looking to move lower on the FTSE 100. 10 minute chart, we have an expanding uh, uh, rising wedge pattern again, generally is indicated a bearish pattern. Okay, so looking to potentially retest uh, previous resistance equals support here. So watch out for all these zones here 6715, 6711, 6710, and ideally looking for gap fill at 6700. That's my uh, target at the moment. Okay, in terms of the euro stocks, let's just bring up the euro stocks for you folks. Okay, so Euro stocks at the moment again uh, back into that Fib 75%, defying the lower lows, lower highs. 
a very very impressive lead 10 minute chart you can see that we uh, certainly have a negated gap fill negated horizontal resistance and really has been an impressive thrust time okay so again looking for weakness with the unfilled gap at 29.30 okay let's look at the price of oil oil certainly holding that uh, pivot support at 45 dollars so uh, impressive there in terms of copper let's bring up copper copper certainly weak on the back of um, anglo uh, bhp etc is all certainly coming in the weaker side so again holding that double top triple top resistance looking for a lower high now okay so i think that's a good summation of european markets from my perspective my bias certainly remains low uh, because of the uh, obviously nikkei into gap fill resistance or into horizontal resistance the shanghai as well holding resistance so from my perspective certainly looking for a move lower fox okay certainly looking for a move lower uh, certainly indicating a uh, weaker price action from my perspective and uh, given the fact that Asian markets are lower overnight so that certainly seems to be a summation we have ignored the Turkish coup we have ignored the terrorism incident in Germany and France and these markets certainly are invincible at present I mean you can attribute that to QE I mean it certainly is impressive we look at the actual VIX I mean this is the VIX for the uh, the actual uh, euro stocks and you can see here we continue to make new new lows uh, it certainly has been impressive making new lows so approaching that 200 ma now so not too far off potential support certainly keep an eye on that in terms of the cac volatility index certainly into support and therefore indicating risk aversion okay uh, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and download the um, or certainly get, uh, apply for the latest uh, account which gives you the 25 uh, percent bonus okay goodbye now folks